Good evening, my high vibe soul tribe. I'm so grateful to be here with you guys today. And I just want to pull a few oracles for the collective on what subjects is it that my divine collective that I, I radiate with, you know, because birds of feather flock together, energy attracts energy. What is it that we all need to hear today? Okay. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, please place a cloak of protection around me and my beautiful collective at this time. Please, dear Heavenly Father, keep all negative, toxic, and demonic energy away from us at all times and all places. And please banish any negative, toxic, demonic energy that is being sent our way at this time. Please return to sender with healing so they are not able to hurt anybody ever again. And I humbly say these things in your blessed name, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right, let's get started. What is it that me and my beautiful collective need to hear today? Okay. Put this down just a little bit so you guys can see my card shuffle. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. What is it that my beautiful collective needs to hear today? From my beautiful collective. What is it, Lord? What is it? What is it that we need to hear today? Courage was the first one that popped out. And abundance. All right. I'm really hearing here, don't harp too much on the failures, okay? Because failures bottom the deck. Be patient and know that energy is fluid, okay? Energy is fluid. And we have to have patience because what we put out, we get back tenfold, okay? Okay. Um, if we put out the energy of love and healing, even to the most toxic, evil people in our life, and we pray for their healing as, um, and, and don't pray for their demise or their downfall, if we actually lift our vibration higher, we basically use their negative energy as stepping stones to get higher and higher and higher. So we need to vibrate in a, in a frequency of unconditional love and devotion and purity and honesty honesty also came out during your meditation before i did this reading okay so um and perseverance just know that you are very divinely guided that you are being lifted um above the chaos and 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 say it and speak it with your mind's eye okay let them place all the blame they want it's no sweat off my angel wing <laughs> I'm like, uh, um, I'm hearing, you know, like uh, a duck feather. Okay. You know how like when water drops, this is what I'm getting. When water drops on a duck feather. Okay. It just rolls off. It just rolls off that duck feather. And there's, there's no, um, there's no repercussion of, of mold or getting wet or staying stagnant. It, it's water and it flows and it just keeps on moving and it keeps on flowing keeps on going perseverance okay all right and turn all of your worry into positive fuel okay so if you are worried about something uh that is not that great for you okay I'm sorry this hurting my finger and my right hand it has like arthritis real bad and i keep on getting like stiff so maybe you guys also have arthritis in your right hand okay and, and when you shuffle cards to it kind of hurts um anyways <laughs> squirrel um also pain is what you make it pain is also what lets you know that you're alive um right now i am studying the 12th house stallion and i'm also studying um more about the pisces because i've been through so much and i know that a lot of you have been out there through a lot as well and you know we have to learn how to convert that energy and change it in a way where we it can fuel our fire instead of bringing us down and sucking us into a vortex of depression anxiety and worry we need to learn how to release it and change that energy okay change it for the positive um here we go understanding that nothing can grow or evolve without movement we were just talking about that 444 on the clock as i said that Nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So we constantly have to be evolving. We constantly have to be learning. If you sit there and tell me that you have learned everything and there is nothing 
on earth that you need to learn again or you need to learn about you're you're in denial okay you're you're in denial and you're setting yourself up for failure because we are constantly evolving constantly learning um, I don't know if you guys know this or not but the galaxy and the earth and the universes are very big they're massive and they're constantly turning there's multi billions of universes constantly flowing around the all different suns there's millions of suns millions of galaxies out there sometimes one universe will collide into another universe by passing each other just that's all it has to do is just pass each other and if you want to look up the mandela effect it's a very real thing and that's what happened in the mandela effect the two universes collided and they passed each other so biblical things got changed in our bibles um things all kinds of things got changed 555 on the clock as i said that divine change takes place when two universes pass each other or collide into each other depending on how bad the impact is is depending on how bad it's going to impact our world as we know it and it has already happened several of hundreds of thousands of billions of times throughout our entire existence okay it's constantly happening all the time so also don't be afraid of that as well um, also health came up so you I'm really seeing here that you know um, you honor your health you honor your physical abilities and when you honor your your skin suit that's what I call this we're just merely energy in a skin suit okay <laughs> when you honor your skin suit you treat it as if you know it is your it's your chamber for your soul okay it's the chamber that holds your divine energy and when you when you take care of that that temple that's what I meant to say not chamber temple when you take care of that temple there's magic that happens within that just in the energetic alchemy of the universe and and you'll be so surprised of what can manifest into your life as far as health longer life um a spiritual awakening and knowing of of abilities on how to stay young it's not you don't have to take certain things you don't have to sacrifice children or do dark luciferian things it's all in energy energy alchemy instead of going dark and doing all this demonic shit that's pointless if you ask me um, and that repercussion is, is nothing but chaos and death and pain. Um, try to convert that and learn about energy alchemy and the flow of the universe. Okay. It could also make you younger. It could, um, take your, you, your brain tells your body what to do. So say you have kidney problems. Okay, there's acupuncture, there's uh, yogas that you can do, there's meditations and mantras that you can do. You speak into existence and it will be so, this is, this is all energy alchemy. It's the flow and the vibration and the ripple effect of the universe, okay? And so that's what, that's when health comes in because you can literally, I, I've seen it with my own eyes, okay? Um, you can literally heal cancer just by positive energy yeah okay you can literally shrink tumors with positive energy and the life force of positivity you can channel um energy all across the globe in the world you can heal somebody and i've done this i've meditated in the san andreas fault line and i healed my son from covid when it first came out within three days by the grace of the universe and god himself god himself okay so when it comes to health we have to remember we control this vessel this vessel is merely a skin suit what's on the inside of this vessel is energy and we are like 80 something percent water okay so we have to realize too that when we're channeling healing energy to ourselves, we have to constantly be drinking water electrolytes that's why i have my little water if you notice right here my air conditioner i have my water bottle i love aquafina water by the way it's amazing and i put electric lights i buy this little squirt bottle thing and it's electrolytes and stuff and i squirt it in there me and my son drink it all the time okay you have to constantly be replenishing electrolytes and good bacteria to fight the bad bacteria it's just like energy you have to feed your body and your soul good energy to fight off the negative vibrations which the earth this 3d 
bullshit reality, um, likes to pump us full of fear, anxiety, chaos, pain, war. We are constantly receiving all of these um, energies from all different directions and sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. I get it, okay? I'm a Pisces, I know. I, it's hard for, it used to be hard for me to even walk into a grocery store without having a panic attack because I was feeling everybody's, oh, uh, this guy cheated on his wife and this mom is like going through a divorce and this chaos, like all this energy. And I'm like, ah, what the heck? This isn't my energy. So I had to learn how to decipher my energy from everybody else's, okay? All right. And so health does come there. Um, abundance. Let's see abundance. I am a limitless being. Absolutely. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Amen. Yes. What you speak about, you bring about. What you feel does become real, okay? 11, 11 on the clock as I said that. Abundance. You can manifest anything you want into this physical reality because it is merely vibrations and ripples you're speaking into the universe. So when, also this goes out to tarot card readers, okay? When you are doing a reading and you notice that the energy is starting to go a little toxic, a little dark, okay? I'm not saying sugarcoat shit. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, uh, what I'm saying is, yes, you can let the collective know that there is some toxic energy around them and that, that this is the way that they get rid of it. Teach them because that's why they're going to you. They're going to you for you to teach them how to release this toxic negative energy, not to sit there and harp on it and harp on it and harp on it. Because what you're doing is you're sending out negative vibrations after negative vibrations to the collective. And it's going to keep these people stuck. Now, as tarot card readers, we're healers. We don't want to keep people stuck. We want to teach them how to release that and separate separate themselves from the chaos and the pain and the turmoil. We don't want them to stay stuck in negative chaos and turmoil. We are here to teach them how to escape that. Okay. Soberly though, sober is the key words here because usually when people are going through chaos in their life like that and experiencing all that physical pain in this 3d reality, they don't know how to tap into that, that turn that negative energy and paradigm shift that, that, that energy to and release it. They don't know how to do that. So that's why we're here. So as a as a collective and as tarot card readers, we have to be mindful of what we speak about, okay? I'm not saying to sugarcoat stuff like I said, but if you notice that the reading is starting to go a little dark, check yourself. Come together and check yourself, okay? And and say, "Okay, now how can mentally say this to yourself? Now how can I help the collective paradigm shift this energy and then pull your cards and you'd be really surprised how quickly that energy will change all right i love you guys so much please don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button and i will be back on for the zodiac readings i keep saying that i know but i just i get these messages and i just have to get on here okay um also rest lots of rest and, and good sleep at least um six hours a night eight is really good anything over eight is only going to feed um the low vibrational energy okay anything less than six is also going to feed the low vibrational energy we have to make sure that we are resting so then we correctly give messages we have correct energy when we read and we're channeling through the correct person or something like that okay all right anyways i will be back home for my zodiac readings i love you guys so much please don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button and i will see you soon all right god bless that is your reading for this evening <laughs>